use the graph of the function y equals f of x to graph the function g of x equals f of x plus 3 minus 2. So whenever we add a number to the x value, it's backwards. So in this case, it's left 3. And whenever we subtract a number from the entire function, it's down 2. So we're taking this picture here, and we're going left 3 and down 2. So it looks like the correct choice would be choice A. Let's try it. And yep, that's correct. So again, whenever we have a number we're adding to the x, it's left. And if you subtract from the actual function value, it's down. So for example, if it was f of x minus 2 plus 7, the minus 2 on the x means we would be going right 2. And the plus 7 would mean we're going up 7. Hope that made sense.